Hey everyone, my name is Lucas, and today we're making the standard pistol from the game XCOM Enemy Unknown. I started this project off by trying to find reference images online to make a template. I ended up finding Jeep Soup's photo over on the RPF, and I made a template like so. The first thing that we'll want to do is cut out the main body of the gun, so we'll cut out the paper template so it looks like this. Then we'll copy that to foam and cut it out. I used two layers of foam since just one layer felt a little thin for a gun. For the back of the gun here, you might want to leave a bit of space and cut around the line. That way, after you glue it together, you can trim it a lot closer to the line and that'll just ensure that the two pieces line up much better. Next, we'll want to cut out a hole for the trigger. And make sure you keep this piece of foam because you might want to actually use it for the trigger later. Now we'll want to bevel the top of the gun. So fold the template on the dotted line here and then we'll trace that onto the foam. We we'll also want to draw a line that's half the width of the foam, and if you've done it correctly, then a piece of foam should fit between those two lines. We we'll also want to bevel the handle and the back of the gun here. Then you can use a knife to cut the edge and then dremel or sand it to make it smooth. Next, I cut out this part of the template for the handle detailing, and I trace it onto the foam. Then I scored the foam, which will become a detail line later when we heat seal this. The side of the gun is made up of three different layers, which I used blue, green, and white pieces of foam. Rather than having a blue and an orange piece like I have here, you should just make them one piece since they're right next to each other and that'll ensure that the two pieces fit since that was an issue that I ran into. You can score the foam lightly along this line for a bit of added detailing if you'd like. For the white piece, you don't want to match the template exactly for the height of the section that's labeled number 4. We want that part to wrap all the way to the top of the gun, so it's going to be a little bit taller than the template. Here I cut out the trapezoid part of the template, and I'm tracing it onto the white foam. And then again, we'll just score the foam lightly so that it appears as a design after we heat seal it. We're also going to cut out some foam for these side bumps here, and I cut them down so they're only half the width of a regular sheet. We're also going to cut out the hammer and a little block for the sight, and we'll trim down the edges to make it a little more trapezoidal. And for the trigger, I used that piece of scrap foam that we cut out earlier, since I know that it'll fit. I only used one piece for the trigger here, even though the design has two different parts. This just made it a little simpler for me, and it left a little bit more room for my finger since it was already a tight fit. But I've made this section a little bigger on the template. For the magazine, I traced the bottom of the handle onto paper, and then I used this section of the template just to figure out part of the dimensions. Then I drew a trapezoid around what I traced, and then trimmed off the edges to get this template here. Then I just traced that onto foam and cut it out. For the curved top of the gun here and the bottom of the gun here, we're going to use an old medicine bottle. I took a piece of paper to measure the length here, and then I found the point of the bottle where the edges of the paper touch the edge of the bottle. And for this length here, I used the length of the template here. And once we cut it out, it should fit on the gun like so. For this section of the gun, we're going to make it out of the rest of the medicine bottle, a soda cap, and a spray can nozzle. They're going to line up something like this, and then we'll trim off the tops of the circles and the nozzle so it'll sit flush with the rest of the foam. We'll also want to sand it lightly so the paint adheres to the plastic better. Lastly, we'll wrap this section here in a bit of craft foam, which I did in white. For the barrel, I'm using another bottle cap, and I jumbled out the threadings so it's just smooth. To make this front part of the gun, we need a front view template, which we can use these lines here. They're just lines based off the lengths of the front part of the gun. We'll place the bottle cap at the center of this top cross, and we'll place the spray nozzle so that the small end is tangential to the bottom line. Then we'll just connect the edges of the circle and cut it out. So now we should have a piece of foam that fits around the barrel and also lines up with the spray nozzle. And for mine, I only made it half the normal width. If you have a gap between the plastic and the front of your gun, then you can just copy the bottom half of the template to fill in the space. Then we'll heat seal all the foam parts. I found that the craft foam shrank quite a bit after heat sealing, so you might want to pre-heat seal that before you trace out the template and cut it out. Then we'll glue it together, and once you've glued it, you can trim any edges with the knife to make them line up better, or you can use a dremel to smooth it out. Lastly, we'll just fill in the seams with quick seal and coat the whole prop in a couple layers of watered-down white glue. We can paint it gray, add an accent color that matches our soldier's armor, and then weather it a bit. And we're done! I had a ton of fun creating this, and I'm looking forward to learning more and making more things in the future. If you're interested in building your own pistol, there's a link in the description to download the template. If you do make one, I'd love to see a photo of yours. 
that's about it for now, so I'll see you next time. And good luck, Commander. <laughs>